recording in progress. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Stars Touch. Thanks for joining me today. So I have a lot to share. I don't like to constantly go into what's going on symptoms wise with me, but it's not a bad idea in case somebody else is dealing with it too. So I still feel like I'm trying to rid the spike proteins out of my body. I mean, anytime you have COVID or if you've had the vaccine, they say, and I don't know this to be true because what do we know really about COVID? I have no idea. But with me, when I went to the naturopath, this is what she said, you know, you need to rid this stuff out of your body because my hair was falling out and all this. Well, I woke up this morning and my arms were numb. I couldn't feel my arms. And it's happened to me before when I had Bartonella. So I, I just instantly go into action. The first thing I do is take a couple deep breaths and I say, okay, I'm accepting that this is happening. Now, what have I done in the past that will help this? And there's a lot of things I've tried in the past that worked. But right now, in my heart, I feel like it's definitely a matter of needing to detoxify my body. And the white pine needle tea, I had a video pop up on that that was just awesome back when I was fighting COVID and learning how to make the homemade remedies and everything. So the white pine needles, um, if you have a tree that's a white pine needle tree, it actually has five needles in a bundle. And I took a coffee grinder, threw those in there and made them just really small and then brewed it. According to the internet, you can do it for however many minutes, boil it, and then let it steep, and that kind of thing. Well, this is what I turned up with, and I've been drinking this, and as I drink it, I'm noticing that different symptoms are popping up, and I feel like my body's trying to flush, flush out. I've got the you know, rashes under my arms. And honestly, these things were itching. So I feel like it's just stuff trying to get out of my body. And am I correct? I don't know. I'm going to go back up there and have her recheck me so I can keep sharing with everybody. But what I did learn from a really smart person one time, this is a guy that had poison ivy and it was impossible to deal with as a child and just on throughout life. He determined that if you put your skin under hot water, as hot as you can stand without burning yourself, of course, but it, as hot as you can stand and just put it on there and, and, and do it on both sides, it will actually take the itch away for eight hours. So you can literally make it through a day at work. I mean, um, years ago, I had went to the Boundary Waters and I went to the bathroom out in the forest. How, how crazy. I pulled my... Um, snow pans down, went to the bathroom, and I had no idea that there was poison ivy there. I ended up with it all the way up my back, all the way down my legs. And do you know, just doing that hot water stunt would take that away for me so I could go to work. I didn't itch. I mean, it was like it just instantly um, just stopped it for that full amount of time. And then when I'd get home, I'd do the same thing. So rather than having to itch it and all these different remedies and calamine, none of that was working. But anyways, I'm just sharing some stuff that I've learned. This white pine needle tea, I take about an ounce of it a day. I'm not a doctor or naturopath, but I'm just telling you, I drink a little bit of it every day. I'm going to add more as I can feel like I'm detoxing more. I'm taking Epsom salt baths. I'm doing the lemon water, drinking that every morning, doing celery juice, anything you can do to cleanse some of the things that are in our bodies, just from all the stuff that's going around. Oh my goodness. So I just wanted to share. Um, now I am going to go ahead and pull a couple cards for us. So today we have the sun in Sagittarius and we have the moon in cancer cancer. Oh my gosh. I, so I had the Gemini moon yesterday. I went outside last night and did a video and oh my gosh, I know I was pushing the envelope. I shouldn't have been outside doing that again because I'm still kind of fighting something, but I did it and I'm going to attach it to the end of this video. So everybody can have that meditation. It's really nice. It's something to bring divine love into our hearts. It's not very long and it's really just um, super healing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull a card out of the Kyle Gray. And this is the angel prayer deck. Again, I'm really liking these cards. It's fun to have some new cards. What do we need today? What will help us the most on our healing journey? Oh my gosh. We all need it. We're all working together. This isn't something that's one and done. It's, it's a lifetime of learning. All right. Claim your vibes. Archangel Metatron. Thank you for Met. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. Yes. So we're not just cleansing our bodies. We're cleansing our minds. We're cleansing all the negativity around us. That's awesome to have the foie balls for that. P-O-I. Foie balls you can buy. I mean, about 14 bucks and 
swing those things and cleanse the area around your body before, you know, we go to bed. And when you wake up in the morning, just to have better, um, you have your aura tighten up your ship so things can't get through to your physical. Clearly, I haven't done enough of it myself. All right. So clear your vibes. You are being guided to clear your life of any harsh, negative, or challenging energy. It's time to make way for positive energy in your life. And the only way you can do this is by clearing your aura, body, and energy. Surround yourself with positive people and uplifting environments. The angels are encouraging you to call on them to help you clear your life of anything that's getting between you and your inner peace. Clear any clutter from your home, office, car, and anywhere else you spend time. When you clear clutter in your life, you clear psychic clutter from your energy. And when you clear your energy, you are open up, you're opening up to more abundant and spiritual experiences. Yes, I am clearing out stuff again. This full moon is just making me want to oh, downsize, downsize, uh, simplify. How much stuff do we need? How many clothes do we need? I mean, what we can give away, someone else is going to treasure. Why not do that? Okay, Archangel Metatron is one of the few angels who has walked the earth as a human being. So he knows more than the other angels what it can be like to be challenged by people and situations. His name means the throne next to God. And he has a special connection with the current era as he represents the new energy and the connections that are opening up to the other worlds and heaven. He is the angel who can help us connect with the wisdom of God in our daily life. All right. So Metatron is who we need to call upon. And what I'll do at the end of this video is I'll do a um, healing where we're connecting our crown to our solar plexus. That's why I'm wearing yellow. You can wear colors of the chakras to bring in whatever you need. And I need some self-confidence, some, some self-empowerment, releasing any kind of codependency, any kind of self-trauma, all this stuff. You know, um, the solar plexus is amazing to beef up for that. So we're going to do the crown, letting the light of God come in and really connecting with that solar plexus. I'm going to pull an affirmations card. These are really fun. I figure why not huh? just see what we need to say all day and then do it. I forget to do it. I get, I say all this stuff and I go, oh, what was the affirmation today? Oh, there it goes. My body is a wonderful and magnificent machine and I feel privileged to live in it. Yes, this is all about giving yourself self-love. The minute you start giving yourself self-love, I mean, massage your chest and stuff. Don't be looking for, you know, problems. Look for solutions. Make yourself breathe better. Really massage all this and just give yourself this, you know, open up your spleen, tap on your um, immune system, your thymus here. Um, just massage your neck. Let's do a stretch just right now. I'm, I'm wound up. Can you tell? I just want to feel better. So it hands up in the air and not too far, just as whatever's comfortable for you, but breathe in and just as you breathe in, you're breathing in your confidence and release. And as you release, you can stretch just a little further, but of course not to hurt yourself. Let's do it again. And again, and maybe a neck roll too. Let's just down, breathing in and out. And the other way, down and out. Ah, I feel better already. <laughs> okay, the last cards that I'm going to go for is the notes of the universe with Mike Dooley. I love his cards. He's fun. Let's see what pops out. What do we need from Michael Dooley? Oh, <laughs> says I go where you go. Tell me, are you finding that, that the occasional, occasional stranger has a crush on you? That's that for words you've almost mindlessly chosen, hearts broken too long begin to heal. Wow, I got to say that again. I don't understand it. It says, tell me, are you finding that the occasional stranger has a crush on you? That for words you, you've almost mindlessly chosen, hearts broken too long begin to heal. That eyes sometimes well up with tears when it's time to say goodbye. Remarkable, our findings exactly. Your divinity is showing. 
I'm not sure exactly what that all means. I'm going to put it up there in case you want to take a snapshot, because if you have any comments on that card, but I think what it's trying to say is, is sometimes, you know, we're blocking our hearts and there's strangers out there that can be really a good part of our life. They're probably our soul tribe and we're not even uh, letting them into our life. So yeah, are you finding the occasional stranger has a crush on you that for words you've almost mindlessly chosen hearts broken too long begin to heal nice just starting to feel self self-love just feeling um accepted and loved just the way we are you know um no one's better than anybody else like my pastor i loved for all i just loved him from my old church he said everybody is god's favorite person and it's so true we're all the same all right, I'm going to go ahead and get that energy sending just so that everybody can breathe in, just relax, get a couple more breaths. Well, I get wound up sometimes, and I'm just going to have that energy coming into the crown and the solar plexus at the same time. Picture the color yellow shining into your solar plexus, the purple and gold coming down through your crown and just sending healing connecting our minds, God, and our solar plexus so we can feel confident today. Taking deep breaths. Another. Feeling the messages coming in from God and our angels, empowering us, giving us strength to let go of any emotional traumas, clearing out the clutter. Breathing in confidence and a long breath out releasing toxins and negativity. Okay, and we're going to ground it in. So if you want to just go ahead and take and put your hands by your waist, breathe in and out again and out. All right. Have a wonderful day. Pass this to anyone that really needs clarity. And um, I love you guys and I'll be back again tomorrow.